I know I'm looking around like I'm crazy, right? <laughs> hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom, Lizzie. You know, there's always a little bit of a delay when you go on live until you really start, like, seeing people interact because it's just, that's just the way it rolls. <laughs> so, hello, everybody. How are you doing today? I hope you all are having a fantastical day like I am. And today I'm going to show you some things that I picked up at the thrift store. Yeah, I went thrifting. It's not like an epic, epic haul, but I found some good stuff and I love to share with you. So you can see how you can kind of pick and choose the things for your junk journal as well. So. I'm definitely going to give you some ideas, but before we get started, I always like to invite those who haven't done so already to uh, hit the like button, first of all, because you're going to forget later. Go ahead and hit it now. Second, subscribe to the channel because if you're here, you love junk journals like we do, so you can subscribe to the channel. <laughs> and you can join us over on Facebook as well. And the name of the Facebook group is Junk Journal Buddies. So we'd love to have you there over at Junk Journal Buddies also. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I am kind of slow talking because nobody knows I'm coming on. It's one of those impromptu uh, type of things. So I hope you all can hear me good and see me good because I'm going to go ahead and get started in a few uh, momentos. I'm going to start. I'm just waiting, uh, uh, just a few seconds. While I'm waiting, I'm lighting, lighting up my candle. Y'all, my son gave me a candle. It's called Cinnamon Caramel Swirl. This candle smells good enough to eat. I'm, I kid you not. And I've had it for a while and I just never used it. Y'all, why the car warranty place keeps calling me? <laughs> they keep calling me about my extended warranty that I don't have. And I keep trying to tell the automated uh, thingy on there that I don't have a warranty, but it doesn't listen to me. I don't know what's up with that. It's kind of weird. All right, YouTube just sent out the notification that there's a live going on. I just got it okay so um, if you're new to the channel this is a pretty chatty channel as well so you can fast forward to the haul if you're on on the replay but hopefully you all will stick around if you're coming on okay I'm gonna go ahead and get started so I haven't really been thrifting that much for a while once the pandemic hit it took me a while before I actually started going out and uh, venturing forth into uh, the thrifting world again. And I still haven't really been going that much. I may have gotten, you know, went out about three times. So we'll say this is the fourth time. Hey there, crafty reseller. How are you doing today? And um, so yesterday, well, actually on Monday, I decided I was going to do just a smidge of thrifting and I went to the Goodwill and then I decided to go to some, no, I didn't go to Goodwill. Yes, I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and then I went to some other, you know, local thrift stores and one of them has been open this whole time and sometimes they have some good stuff and most of the time it's like, meh, not that, not that great. But my favorite thrift store that I like to go to and I don't know if it's because the people are so nice and everything. Um, they have been, like, shut down. So I went there on Monday because I always go and check. And they were open. They were open. I was so excited. And so I, um, um, I mean, on Monday they were closed, actually. But they had a sign up that they were going to be open. So I decided to go back yesterday. And I love everything. Who doesn't love a thrift, thrift store haul, child? <laughs> so I decided to go back yesterday, and I have to say, I've never seen as many people 
in the thrift store as I saw yesterday. It was a ton of people in there. And I think it's because people are just tired of being inside. And they want to go out and do some stuff. So, yeah, it was some people in the thrift store. But it didn't freak me out. I had my mask on. I used like 10 million trillion tons of hand sanitizer. Sometimes I hand sanitize my hands before I even go in to any place. And then when I come out, I always make sure I put like a ton on my hands too. And then when I get home, I'm a hand washer anyway. So when I get home, I just go ahead and I wash my hands. So let's start with, um, we'll start with some of the smaller things that I got. And I'm going to uh, just uh, switch uh, the camera, I think, as soon as I figure out where everything is here. All right. So, um, the first thing I got, I got this from, I believe I got this at Goodwill. No, I got this at the little my little mangy uh, thrift store. <laughs> hey, from Costa Rica. Hey, Lizbeth. How are you doing today, girl? How's everything in Costa Rica? Y'all haven't had any hurricanes hit you down there, have you? Okay, so this is a wax seal set, and it was like $3, and y'all have always wanted one of these, but I was like, mm, I don't know. I didn't know if I wanted to pay the cost for them, although they don't cost that much, but um, this was kind of a good price, and I said this would be good for me to kind of test it, and I actually, as you can see, I've been testing it. So it came with this um I guess it's called I don't know what it's called and like an embosser uh, we're getting a lot of rain too Lizbeth we're getting a lot of rain um so but it's a C so of course my name is Elizabeth I can say Liz Beth I th there's no C in <laughs> in my name but I didn't mind that because I was just testing it and for junk journal purposes who cares what the letter is right so I got that and it came with like this, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's wax. <laughs> it came with this beautiful wax. And so I tested it out a little bit and I made the C and I kept it. Actually, this was, a, I um, remelted this and did it again because you can do that too. I, I tried to use like my normal candle wax with this and it didn't work. So there's something special within the waxes that are specific for this that um, you have to use but I like it and you can see it has the C right here as well and uh, so I'm glad I got this and now I know I like it and I'll probably order some more uh, of these little embossing things I don't know what they're called okay let's put that aside and I got this okay I'm gonna have to move my candle out the way so I won't burn everything up put everything on fire and so I got oh y'all look at the color of this this is I think a super king size pillowcase and when I saw this I was like man I wish they had like another one this these are the colors that I love it's like a a pale yellow color and I think you can see it on the camera it's a pale yellow color and look at the vibrant flowers on here y'all I love this I was like when I do my next journal you're probably gonna see some of this fabric in there because <laughs> this is cool and I got this at the Goodwill I was like so excited about this so they didn't have like any fabric or larger uh, pieces that I could use but this will be fine this what should last me for a while. And let's see. And then I got this at my favorite thrift store. And it is, it's a hanky. Let me cut this off. Where's my, where's my scissors? What y'all did with my scissors? <laughs> Get my scissors, y'all. Oh, let me take this off the screen, too. All right. So, so y'all can see. I always keep these little tags. I put these inside of my junk journal. So there's another junk journal video coming out tomorrow, a process video. So y'all be on the lookout for that. Okay, what we got here? 
okay. They kind of put some holes in this. I hate it when they use that stuff and then you get like holes in your stuff. So I got like some big old gaping holes right where the nice embroidery is at. You know, people at the thrift stores and the Goodwill, they're normally, well, at least the people in the thrift stores, they're like volunteers. So they don't know what they're doing. They're just trying to get their jobs done. I'm just trying to rub out the holes a little bit because it looks tacky. Okay. She rubbed it out. It's okay. I'm okay with that. So this is what it looks like. And I've been sort of collecting hankies. Look, you can see the holes right there. Look at the big old holes. Why they do that? Why they do that, y'all? Kind of mess our stuff up. This is a pretty, like, baby blue, too. And then they got holes on that side. But I'm not going to worry about that. So I got this nice little handkerchief for uh, some junk journal fun. And then these are some photographs. Now, I found these photographs a while ago, and I didn't buy any. And I said to that, I said, I'm going to go back and get some. And, y'all, they were almost all gone. So I did get a few, and I actually got a deal on uh, a few of them, too. But these are cabinet card uh, photographs. And, of course, they, you know, they don't have no African-American ones. Okay, if they do, they're like very, they're probably uh, collectibles. But um, one thing that I like about these is, the main thing I like is the back. But all of these are, I think the rest of these are just plain on the back of here. This one has something, and this one doesn't have anything on the back. But I still kind of like the picture. These are kind of, looks like they have a, some wear, maybe like some mold or something got on those and same here but that's how it is when you when you get like the old photographs and stuff but they're still pretty cool so I really like these with the ladies and they look so elegant in their pictures like you wonder like how their personality really is <laughs> you said old photos scare you <laughs> They look a little creepy because people didn't smile. And I think the reason why they didn't smile is because they had to kind of hold their, um, hold, you know, their pose for a really long time because of the way the cameras were made and the exposure. So I think people just didn't smile back then. But I have uh, some Indian friends and they don't smile in their picture. Even now they won't smile. If you take a picture, they won't smile in their pictures. It's, it's really weird. So these are kind of cool. So I like those a lot. I've been wanting some of these, and I should have, I should have bought some when they had a whole bunch. So these were like the the bottom of the barrels that I got, and they're still really nice, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, she might be freaked out because you know the people are past. Let me see. Do these have any dates on them? I don't think they do. Let's see. If by chance it has a date, no. There's no date. This was from New York, I can tell you that. And this is Massachusetts. Massachusetts. No. I think this has somebody's name on it, but I can't read it. Emma something. Let's see, what about this one, though? No. No, they don't have any dates on it. And I don't know when they stopped doing uh, cabinet cards, but those are still pretty cool. All right, so I got those. For, and you know I can use this. I actually have one more, and I can't figure out where it's at. That I got for a good price. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you all is um, some books that I got. They're really heavy. There's some gar gargantuan books. So you can see, oh, they won't even fit on here. <laughs> Let me see if I pull this up some. It's still not going to fit. This book is just ginormous, y'all. It's a ginormous book. Let's see. Y'all see what I'm working with on my camera here. Oh. Let me. There we go. All right. So this is the book, and... 
Well, I'm going to hold it next to my head so y'all can see just how big this book is. Man, it's raining outside now. All right, so I'm going to show you. Hold on. All right. Oh, okay. This is the book. and It's really heavy. So you can see how big that is next to my head. Oh. Y'all, you got to uh, activate your muscles with this one. All right. Okay. Let's go back to here. All right. Um, and this is Earth from Above. So I got this. Let's see. Hey, Jan. Oh, okay. Can, am I going to be able to open this book up here? I don't know. Wait, I got to move my mic over a little bit book is big but the pictures in here are magnificent so I'll try to put as much on here as I can and I just looked through it a little bit uh, let's see let me see what when was this book it's not that old but yeah I don't get stuck on the old stuff you know what I'm saying Let's see, because I just get stuck on the beautiful stuff. So this is a third edition, 2005, this was made. But it's just for the price, it was pretty cool. Y'all look at some of these pictures. It's, I know it's hard for y'all to see. <laughs> it's hard to see some of the pictures, but the pictures in this book are stunning. And so what I'm thinking, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, because I'm not sure, I'm not sure what the... How the binding is made if I'm going to be able to take signatures out of here look at that look at that picture and um, sometimes one thing one problem I run into which is not a huge problem is when I'm making a journal and the pages are not big enough well this kind of solves that problem <laughs> look at that you'll have big enough Big enough pages, even if I cut them out and then fold them in half. Ooh, look at that. So this is just full of pictures from above, basically. So that's why I got this book. And um, I think I like the, uh, the science books the best when it comes to this also. So something to consider is a book... One thing to consider is if it has a signature that you can like take the strings out and you can take like the two pages out. This one I don't think I'll be able to do that with because it looks like it's glued in, but that's okay because the pages are just like, y'all look at my, where my arm is. It's like ginormous. So anyway, I got that book. So quite huge. Yeah, this is, uh, let me see what the cover looks like. So the cover is just a plain cover, but can you imagine like this book as a um maybe uh you could do a a photograph album okay let's move this out the way Oy. so i got a few uh large books that they had and this one is the complete book of drawing i actually got this book for another reason but it's probably going to end up uh, in junk journal so let's see when this one was made. This is another uh, large book also. And 1974. And this one is The Complete Book of Drawing and Painting. So and it has lots of sketches on here. So y'all know there's some boobies in here. Because that's how people draw stuff. And... So it has like a lot of wonderful illustrations and things. I was even thinking I could use some of these for um, to make postcards out of. Because I'm kind of into making my own postcards now. And it just has like a lot of sketches and stuff. It's some interesting stuff. But like I said, I kind of bought this for something totally different. But uh, it may make it into uh, junk journals. And of course the pages are kind of thick. So that's nice. Next. Okay, here's another one. This one is probably the smallest of all the books, and it's still pretty big, I have to say. And it is, this one has some very nice pictures in it, too. And this one, I know, because I looked at it a little bit, 
you can um, you can take the strings out of this one and I can get the pages out so that is kind of cool and this one was given to a Jim Cathy in 1985 but it was made look at that picture right there already just go right into the nice pictures look at that can you imagine I can imagine writing on this page in my journal with a white uniball pen it would be fantastic let's see this one is from 1980 so in my eyes it's still vintage and it's quite wonderful the pages of course the pages are very thick you can hear that and now look at that look at these pages these are gonna be magnificent for a junk journal that's beautiful look at that crab wouldn't that be cool in like a like a beachy theme kind of a book look at that crab like I just want to just look through this now <laughs> oh those are little baby birds some baby birds some baby seals birds 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 look at those beautiful birds all right anywho moving right along Ooh, I don't know what that is there's nothing on here that tells you what these are maybe on the next page or something yeah this is nice all right so anywho so I got that book also so consider getting some large books when you are hunting for things for your junk journals because you can always cut the pages down but if you have like little small books it's harder well you can't make the pages bigger <laughs> you can Frankenstein them together but that's about it so now the next items I got are all games so I'm just uh, warning y'all ahead of time and the reason why I got the games is so I can do like more charms like I did here so I have some more charms that I made I sold a few of these already they are not up in at Pleasant Creation so if you're interested you'll have to contact me directly and you can do that through the Etsy, Etsy shop as well to let me know you would like one of these and um, that's over at Pleasant Creations but the reason why I got the games is for game pieces and I already have like 1,253,000 game pieces but I'm kind of addicted to collecting the game pieces now y'all aren't these these are so fantastic if I didn't already have the book jewelry on top on my journal, I would put one of these on too. I thought about putting both, but I said, nah. <laughs> I'll wait till I do my next journal, which hopefully will be in the near future. These are kind of cool, huh? So I did, did these with buttons and game pieces, and um, while I have while supplies last as well, I'm able to change the like the Scrabble tiles to specific letters for people that order these so that's kind of cool so let's look at some let's look at some of the game pieces that I find interesting and I'll tell you how I choose those games some of them I already have and that's how I choose them but okay so we have the deluxe triple Yahtzee and also, I'm going to tell you one thing, too. I got a lot of games, and the prices that you might see on the boxes, I didn't pay that price. Since I had a big stack of them, um, some of them didn't have prices on them. So I asked the guy, okay, what's the prices? And keep in mind, this thrift store is like a church thrift store. So, you know, I'm not trying to, like, just go low on the prices because it kind of defeats the purpose of supporting that organization. But, you know, I still want to deal. So I had a big stack of the um, games, and I was asking the gentleman, I asked him, like, some of them didn't have a price. And he says, well, he said, are you going to get all of those? And I said, yes. And he says, well, what do you want to pay for them? And I was like, hmm. So it took me a moment because in my mind, I was like, I should go a little bit higher because, you know, I don't I, I want to support them but at the same time I don't want to pay too much so 
I said, I'm thinking. And I said, mm, maybe like about, you know, this amount. I gave him an amount. And he said, oh, I was thinking like he gave me like uh, $2 less. And I was like, okay, I'll take it. And he said, just tell him up front and you can have them all for that price. And I was like, yay. So some places where you think you cannot negotiate, you can negotiate. So just keep that in mind because I didn't know that they negotiated, but now I do. So in here are some things that I would be that I would use and have used in my book are the score sheets and even the instructions. You can use these like in collages because they're kind of cool. They have some beautiful illustrations that look fantastic in collages. And even some of the Yahtzee sheets that have been used, I could still use those and I would still use them. And they still make a really nice background. So, and you can use these in collages also. So this one didn't have like a lot of sheets that were empty, but it was good enough. And so I'll probably take all this stuff out and then just use this box, not use this box, but probably toss the box. Cause the box is kind of, it's kind of beat. And then of course, we have our uh, dies. Oh, it's always great to pick up dies, but you have to be careful because you know what? You can buy dice on Etsy or game pieces and pay less than sometimes you would pay for a full game. So just keep that in mind if that's something that you would be looking to do. And then, of course, it has like these little chips, and these look great. I think, oh, actually, I have on one of these I have like some checkers that are about this size so you can do like different colors so these are great for hanging off of the um, off the book charms as well very very nice so this one is a triple Yahtzee so whenever I see Yahtzee games I always pick them up and also, when you do go through to a thrift store or to Goodwill and you go to pick up the games, you want to make sure they have the pieces that you need. <laughs> because I was going to get a Monopoly game and it didn't have any Monopoly money in it. Sometimes they'll have the games taped up so people won't go in them, but I always open them up. Or when I get up to the uh, counter to pay, I ask them if I can open it up. So I can look and I'm just looking to see that most the majority of the pieces are in there and then I'm okay with that because you have to always think about um, how much are you willing to pay for something and then that kind of sets the tone for your negotiation process or if you decide to buy something for the junk journals so keep that keep that in mind now this is something I've never seen before and it's called Slam Game. I don't know how you play it. It has something to do with Scrabble, but uh, y'all check out these cards that are in here. This is what I just got this because it was interesting because I've never seen a card game like this and I don't understand how you play it. But <laughs> And I didn't look for any instructions or anything, but oh, there's instructions right there. So it's like just uh, Scrabble in card form, which is pretty cool. So I like that a lot. You know, we can definitely use these in the journal. So that's F. Oh, it tells you there's a R and a T there. So if I turn it over, we got the T upside down. So that's kind of cool. Scrabble is just like a cool game, I guess, because I don't know. I like flashcards, so. <laughs> I guess it's because of the flashcards. So that is pretty exciting. And you know what? I'm not going to put that back in the box because I'm not going to use that. But I might use the box in my junk journal also. And then this can be used in some collaging also. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. What you all think? What you all think about that? And then this, maybe, I don't know. You know, I have to throw some things away, but y'all know I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to throw stuff away. All right, so this one is uh, Boggle. And I already know Boggle has dice in it. Now, I don't know how many dice are supposed to be in here, though. Yeah, but 
I suspect that I looked like they were all here. And we have some papers that people use. I probably won't use those. As a matter of fact, I can go ahead and throw those away. Y'all, this is the first time I went into the game. I guess they opened it up and they didn't throw the plastic stuff away. And so, look at these dice. They got the letters and stuff on them. They feel so nice. Y'all, I love dice. I don't know what it is. Now, I probably won't use this for anything, so it'll probably end up in the trash. Unfortunately, I wouldn't even know what to use it for. And then you could make a journal out of the box itself. I've done that. And then we have the instructions, so we can use that in uh, collaging as well. And then we have our timer. That would just be fun. I might wipe that up and give that to Boss Baby. She would have fun with that. Because she likes stuff like that. Alright, so let's put this over here. Alright. And then I was kind of excited to get this Pokino. And you know, I could play all these games. <laughs> I could actually play with these. That would make me happy. So it came with all these little uh, red pieces that I'll probably never be able to use all of them in one million years, but that's kind of cool. So it's just, that was a, a good find on the Pokino game. And then of course it has some boards and I have some ideas. I saw some ideas from some, from some other YouTubers and they use these boards. And I actually, I made like a huge Pokino game um, journal as well, still up in the shop. And I liked it. So these could be a very nice uh, journal covers. So let's just leave these in here. Of course, I'm going to get rid of all these boxes and stuff. But y'all, I'm continually organizing this place. So it needs more organization before I do that. Okay, now this game, I've never seen before, but I was kind of attracted by the box, so I just wanted to take a peek inside and see what was in here. It says uh, something about 2004, so it's not too, too old, but this is a cool box, isn't it? This would be a beautiful journal cover. So let's see what the back looks like. Even the back of it, look at that. And when I saw this, I was like, I probably would have fun playing this game. Because I love playing obscure games that you never heard of. And it's supposed to have one board map of North America train routes, 240 colored train cars, 110 train cards, 30 destination tickets, yada, yada, yada. Let's see what's in here. Of course, I didn't look to see if everything was in here, but... Cause I was, I just took a peek to see what they look like, and I was happy with that. So, look at the instructions themselves are very beautiful. So never throw your instructions away, cause the instructions are pretty cool as well. I like that. And here's some more instructions. Do this go this way? I guess so. I think this is more like advertising on this side. They have different games. And then the game board itself is humongous and it has the folds in it, which is good too. Yeah, sometimes I use, hey Tam, sometimes I use the game boards like on my shelves that have holes in them. I'll use the game boards to to uh, make sure stuff doesn't fall through the holes. So that's a good use of game boards. And then we got cards. And we got lots of plastic pieces. These are the train pieces. And it's a lot of them. Let's look inside, okay? Let's look inside. So you can see what the train pieces look like. 
that's kind of cool and they're just small enough so I definitely will have to test when I put some holes in these because sometimes when you do holes uh, it's easy to crack stuff anything in there nope and sometimes when I'm open up, opening up these games I'll be expecting to see a bug in there like a dead bug because you know they're old and stuff this has like more pieces than I thought it had though because we have red blue I'm looking underneath them too yellow green oh, oops sorry and we got black so those are definitely and then they got some different color ones all mixed together I wonder why I don't know those are extra pieces and then I don't know what these are but those will be cool and we'll have a lot of little small cards so these can go into um, some of the game packs that I have up over at Pleasant Creations. I like collecting the different types of game cards. So, you know, people can have like an, a variety of game cards. Ooh, they got different colors too. Now these would make like some cool tags or you could just paste these down onto the page. I'm kind of excited about these. I want to use some myself <laughs> for my junk journal. Paris, Berlin, Madrid. Of course, I don't know how they pertain to the games themselves because I don't know how to play the game. She does not know how to play the game. Alright. And I think these are the same. Let's look at these. Let's see what these look like. I guess these are the places that you go to. Yeah, I want to play this game. Ooh, look. A ticket. On this side, they look like tickets. Y'all know we love tickets, don't we? And then on the other side, it's just like places in the United States. I guess that's where your ticket takes you to. So that is very awesome. All right. Let's stick these back in here for now. And, yeah. Yeah, I think I would have fun playing this game. Like, I don't want to mess it up now. <laughs> hey, Michelle. How you doing today? And I love the box. Like, I would definitely, I could use uh, this part for the spine. And then, of course, the back cover and the front cover would be or the back and the front cover of a book. All right, where is? Oh, here we are. This is cool. That is lovely. I never seen. I've never seen this game before. So that's another interesting part. When you go to uh, the thrift stores, you always see games that you've never seen before. I remember my sister cousin. She was an only child, but she was like spoiled. And she had a closet, and it was just filled with, like, all types of games. Games she couldn't even play because she, she was by herself. <laughs> and she always had interesting, obscure games like that. I was always jealous. Okay. So, some of these other ones I have already, but I like the pieces like this Othello game. So, I wouldn't do anything with the board itself. It would have the instructions, and then we got, like, the game pieces and these are just straight up black and white but they look great they look fantastic on these so you can see there's one right there I love it love it love it love it and I used to always love to play Othello too it's like playing tic-tac-toe it's kind of cool me and my uncle used to play all the time he would always beat me but I'm not the type of person that will shy away from a game because I'm not good at it because <laughs> I just like to play all right now yeah. we have another one upwards we got that big old nasty rubber band on there and I like the up at first I didn't know about the upward games but I have used them I don't think 
I don't think I have any upwards on here right now. But I do have some that I did the upwards uh, letters on. And the reason why is because they're kind of hollow on the back. But these still make uh, good pieces to hang off of your book charms too. So don't discount upwards. And the nice thing about them too is they have lots of letters in here that you can use. So you can personalize things with these. Now I wouldn't, it would be hard to like try to put these like on the cover of a journal because they kind of, they're too fat for that. But, but like I said, these are great to use for the book charms. So, and then of course the instructions, we can always use those. And, uh, it's a really big board, so this would be good for a cover as well. So you can use this for your cover. You can leave it as is, or you can cover it up, but you know, you have that board that you can use, that chipboard. Next. I told y'all I got a lot of games. All right, now this one was all taped up, but because I got a good price on everything else, I was just kind of, uh, Hoping that this was going to be okay. Oh, and sorry for all the noise. This is Rumi Rumi O, and I actually I don't think I think the one that I had I had a few that had the Romeos on here. I sold those already, but I always try to make sure I had some big pieces on here, like the like the dominoes. So let's open this up. And you all can go inside with me. <laughs> let's go inside on this rainy day. Let's look and see what we have. Because like I said, usually I don't leave there without opening this stuff up because you don't know what's inside. I've seen, there was a thrift store that was like, one of my first thrift stores that I used to go to and they had a game and it was taped up and I had to open it up and it had like three little pieces of something in there. Didn't even belong to the game and they were selling it for like $2. I was like, uh, no, <laughs> no. So this could all be used in a um, collage, collages. Like I wouldn't even know what to do with these pieces here but these are even different from the pieces that I have I wonder what year this game is this was a little different and I'll show you the pieces that I have let's see let's see if it has when this was made sometimes you gotta look real good I don't know y'all, but this one looks so different. I mean, it doesn't look super different, but the uh, towels are different. Okay, let's see. Let me find some. I know I have some close to me. Oh, how far are you? Hold on, y'all. Oh, maybe they're not that. Yeah, they are different. Oh, let's see. All right, so here's the ones that I have. Oops, sorry. Okay. So, yeah, they are different because look, these are the ones I have. Let me find a three. Y'all, these also, like, these look well-made, and these look like knockoffs. Because the paint on some of these, look at that, the paint is coming off of the 7. And look at this, like, the paint is over the side. So this maybe was a knockoff of this game. And then the second piece, let's see, that's a 3. And there's something, maybe this is the original game. I don't know. Hold on, let's see. Y'all, I'm looking. They never heard of the bowl pins. 
You know, um, Michelle, they're also uh, called garment pins as well, but I don't think they sell them at Joann's. Okay, so I'm trying to see. These are by Pressman. So maybe these are the knockoffs because they don't have that on here. Pressman is like, you know, a known toy company. Okay, but I like these better than these, but they still will work out good. So you can see the difference in the thickness between these and but they will still work out actually these will be easier to put a hole in <laughs> so I could do that that would be cool also if you're looking for those pins I have them I have them in my shop too <laughs> I have pins in the shop All right, so yeah, I'm just, now I'm just doing a little bit of organization. So those are all the game pieces that I got. Y'all look how many pieces are in here. Woo wee. That is nice. Noise. Y'all, I'll be using these to, until the cows come home. <laughs> Because it's a lot. I don't even know where I'm going to store all these game pieces at. Sometimes I just like looking at them. That's one thing that I like about um, junk journaling is abundance. The abundance of things. Just makes me feel good looking at all this stuff. These things have pins on them. All, not pins, but they have loops on them already. But... I need room for my game pieces. I need room for my game pieces. It's all good, Jan. <laughs> I saw what you did. It's okay. <laughs> you didn't have to retract the message. You are a-okay with me, sister. All right. Got to do some uh, reorganization. So basically, those that's everything I got. So I got the um, I got the pillowcase with the beautiful florals on it, and I got the um, what else did I get? Oh, the large books, and then I just got all these wonderful, wonderful, wonderful pieces that I can put onto the book charms. So if anybody's interested in the book charm uh, junk journal jewelry that I made, this is three of them all together, by the way. I just have them on this ring because I have them hanging up so that they will flow very nicely. But these are so beautiful. Y'all, these are sharp. I'm going to tell you. I got down when I made these. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I did a very good job when I made those. Now this thing is not going to close up with all these pieces in here. I might have to do some game packs because uh, I'm overloaded now in a nice way. I like the overload. And then I'm just trying to figure out what I could do with these. These are like some plastic pieces. What in the world could I do with these? I don't know. You could put them on the side of a shelf to keep stuff from falling off, but they're not quite big enough. But I can tie them together. That's a good idea. Because I have the shelves that are right behind me, and I have to put like some foam on the side so that they won't, um, things won't fall off. And then I use the boards on the shelves themselves to keep stuff from falling through. So now I'm just playing now with uh, my stuff. <laughs> so you all have to make sure if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Y'all, these are nice too. These are Ruba Cube pieces. Oh, it fits. Y'all, I got this at a thrift store too, this container. Sometimes they have good containers, but you got to be careful 
because sometimes the prices are more than you would pay like if you went to the store and bought the containers but this is a a really huge container it's heavy too I think I'm gonna purchase another shelf to go into my room and that's probably where I'll have these at because they're so heavy they kind of bend the bottom of the um, what you call it the the shelf I mean the, the drawer hey Melody and oh and Tam I already said hello to Tam <laughs> I already said hello 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 And this one, um, I don't have anything to move into this one. See, I have a few of the Othello's in here, but all of the Othello ones are not going to fit in there. Is this one? Oh, actually, see y'all, look at all the game pieces I have. I put some of these on some of the Christmas journals that I had. They look real cute. And we have more Othello pieces here. And I got, now you all are seeing my game stash. <laughs> and I got some travel Scrabble letters, because I really enjoy the Scrabble letters. And these, I do have some of these on here. If you can see, got a Y on that one. They look so lovely. So I haven't allocated the space for those yet. And then we got our dice. So let's see. Get these dice. Now I I think I used to keep jewelry in this, but it's kind of old and raggedy, but it still it still holds things quite nicely. So where's these dice? These dice are not going to fit in here. Because look how big and fat they are. These are awesome. Where could I put these at? I don't know. I had everything all organized nicely, but now I have to move some stuff around. If I want this to be in the dice bin here. Let's see how many dice we can get in here. I hope y'all don't mind hanging out with me while I put stuff away. Because <laughs> that's everything that I got for the haul. Okay, so that's good. I can just stick those on top of there. That's good. And then this, probably can use this for a paint palette or something like that. <laughs> I do have the game piece jackpot. I've been collecting, y'all like a maniac let's see that's not even all of them and then of course I have see here's some more of the upwards right here let's see if the upwards will fit in here I kind of don't think so but I'm gonna try let's see if they fit in here They actually are, no, they're not. I was getting ready to say they're like a different hue or color than the ones I have, but they're not. Look, it even has some stickers in here, some upward stickers. Y'all know I can use that. <laughs> and then, now I have some Scrabble towels. Now these are plastic, but you can still kind of use them the same way. I use them like for weights, like paperweights. So when I need to um, just hold something down, I'll use those as paperweights. Now I don't have a proper container for this. I don't know what I did buy some containers though. So I can probably transfer some of this stuff into some of those containers. Yeah, what I'm gonna do with all of these? <laughs> what? I don't know. And then we have our instructions. Okay, so this box can go. And let's see. I'm gonna have to
to change the title of my video to a uh, haul and organization because I wasn't ready to get off yet. So the old fellows who don't need the board. They had the Othello pieces here, but uh, I doubt very seriously if they fit in here. But we're going to see how many we can get in here. Might have to move some stuff around. Uh, yeah, that's all that can fit. So it does have a bag in here already, so I guess somebody used it had stuff in a Ziploc bag, so let's just put it in a Ziploc bag for now. I'll figure out where I'm going to put these. So I had all my game pieces in a drawer, but obviously now I have more. They're not all going to fit in the drawer. Anybody have any suggestions on how I should store these? <laughs> how should I store these games? First of all, I should put like some into some packets, huh? And just go ahead and... Uh, sell them off over in the shop. Anybody be interested in some game packets, some game piece packets? As you can see, I have some pretty cool game pieces. I always have cool stuff up in the shop, and if I do say so myself, and I do. And I do. All right, so we don't know where this is gonna go yet. And I don't have any more dice. So, let's close this up and put a rubber band back on here. Y'all, isn't that, that's just cool to look at, huh? Wouldn't these make, like, a good decoration? Suppose they could, like, sit up on the wall like this, like this, and then you could just, like, look at all the colors and stuff. That would be kind of cool, and then when you need it, you could take it off the wall and get out what you need, and... My pan. That would be really cool. Okay, I don't think I have anything else to go in here. Uh, well, let's see. I'm going to put. cup as like a pencil holder <laughs> got a pencil holder there oh we have some more dice and I have a place for that hey if you had like some beads you can this has like the little foam stuff so I might keep this piece hmm. see I could just See, that's the hoarder in me. It's like, what can I do with that? <laughs> I could do something with that. All right, I just want to get these pieces out. I feel like all of these pieces are not in here, but that's okay. Since I, I, had, I had considered leaving this behind, but since I was getting this as a package deal, so to speak, back up in the drawer. And let me get the dice back out. Let me see if I can get these other dice in here. Obviously I have a bunch of red dice. Of course the dice are harder to work with when you're making them into book jewelry, but they look so beautiful once you use them. Oh look at this. These. That's pretty cool, huh? These little dice. And they got some small dice in here. That's pretty cool. And look at these. These are were from like a bicycle game, um, bicycle card game. That's pretty cool too. 
And I got these teeny tiny dice. I haven't tried to work with these. I probably would just glue these onto something because, oh my goodness. That's a good idea. Lisbeth says you can make, um, or I can make, <laughs> a journal with all of the um, game instructions. I hadn't thought about that because I always keep the instructions. Hmm. You give me ideas. You give me ideas might be something to consider seriously see I got this too and this came out of a trivia pursuit game and it has a whole bunch of pieces so it doesn't have a home yet hold on y'all hold on Some empty containers because I was organizing a, a few weeks ago and I have some empty containers that I have not used yet so I have like this big one here it's kind of flat it still has my receipt in there <laughs> so I can put the game pieces in here or I have the smaller one I have a few of these smaller ones that I can put the game pieces in but I think for now what I have left that I cannot contain I will just put inside of this big one ooh look at that y'all fun instructions instructions hmm this is a good idea and this will go with the cards I have a drawer that have the cards in and you go over there and then these I'll probably can fit these in a small container let's do that instead save the big container for something else I still have space in here and have another dice in here too I've seen people use these uh, in the, for their book charms too I didn't know what game it came from. Like these little circles. And these itty bitty pieces. You can almost get the. Oh, they fit inside of the. Um, aha! They go inside of these. Like that. Hmm. See, that's an idea too. I can fill those spaces and glue those in and then make them into charms. The ideas are abundantly running rapid, rampant through my head. <laughs> Alright, so they fit into the small one. And then for now, I'm just going to put this stuff in here. Oh, I forgot to use. Hold up. Da -da -da. perfection okay y'all so that's gonna be it for today I'm glad you all enjoyed me, enjoyed me I'm glad you all joined me for this haul video I had a good time going to the thrift store because all of my thrift stores are like uh, shut down unfortunately and it makes me sad oh y'all want to know something else that happened to me today this lady hit my car somebody hit Sandy with me in it driving I was in a car accident today but you can see I'm okay now so <laughs> I forget see I forgot all about the car accident I don't know how and the lady bet it was kind of a fender bender she was turning I would I was just driving I was driving on the right hand side of the road in the right lane it was a two-lane road and then the other lady 
she was turning onto that road and she just came right over into my lane well she couldn't get in my lane because my car was there and she hit my car and she was so nice like I'm not the type of person that gets all angry I mean what's done is done it was an accident and she was like so nice and she was begging for forgiveness and she she you know she said I'll take care of it and blah 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 and all that stuff but Sandy has a dent in the side and I gotta get it fixed now that makes me sad so because Sandy we have we have a love affair and I don't want anything to happen to Sandy plus that's the only car I got <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and shove off now that I told y'all my, my accident story. Because it really was no drama or anything. It's just just an accident. Alright, so thank you all for coming on. You can head over to PleasantCreations.com to get your journaling supplies and journals. And uh, be on the lookout for some game piece packs because it's coming. Because <laughs> I got a lot of them. Bye, Crafty Reseller and Jen and everybody else. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry about Sandy, too. You know how it is. My car is like 10 years old, though. But I want to say you know how it is when you have a new car. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lisbeth. I appreciate that. You are all so nice. That's why, see, I can't even get off now. I've been trying to get off, but y'all hold me. I keep pulling me back every time I try to get off. You guys keep dragging me back in. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving for real now. With that, I'm going to say love, peace, and hair grease from your sweet Lotus Blossom and lovable Lizzie. Have a fantabulous day and enjoy life. Bye, everybody.